Perfect. What up, Dota gang? Your boy here with another video. Uh, today we're just gonna continue doing some of the sand work on the bed, getting it ready for the new wrap. I'm also gonna be fixing this pillar from the inside of the truck. I'll, I'll let you guys know what happened and what I'm gonna do to fix it. And then uh, show you guys my new windshield. Finally got the new front windshield. You didn't see the old one. It was all cracked. Had about like three cracks that got pretty long. It's about to switch, time to switch it out guys. Uh, so I don't have any stickers in the front now, but it looks clean. Now I just need some tint. But, but yeah, let's start, uh, let's start the video. Start off with the new and improved windshield. I feel like a fishbowl in there without the tint. As you can see, you can see it right through it. Looks cool though with the black velour dash cover and the red dash looks pretty clean but you know can't be driving around like that you gotta get that tint and then uh gonna be fixing this pillar got a problem with the this clip that connects to the top it keeps coming off and if i hit like a hard bump or something um it'll end up like coming off and just leaning so what i'm planning on doing is probably putting some uh like db weld in here like all over here and then sticking this on there hopefully it stays in a uh, bond so it, it won't pop off no more and once i clip it it stays in place so we'll be doing that right now in a bit and then we're just going to be continuing the sanding on the bed do some wet sand, do some block sanding, getting it looking decent. But yeah, let's get started. All right, so we got this clear weld, JB weld. It's a two uh, two parts, so you can just squeeze it together into a little container or something and mix it, and then you can apply it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Put this in here, start mixing it. Once it's mixed, you can apply it to whatever surface you want it to stick to. Pretty much put JB weld all around here that way this piece can stick to the actual pillar we're just gonna let it dry supposedly it takes up to five minutes we're gonna let that sit we're just gonna block sand it with this little block and we just want to get it down as smooth as possible
I think uh, this one's pretty much dry. Go ahead and reinstall it back into the truck. Meanwhile, all right, guys, while we're here, we're gonna be giving the armrest for the dash a uh, new coat, and then we're gonna be sanding down the bottom piece of my rear bumper piece that goes under there because I think the previous owner uh, coated this with like bed liner or something and it's all chipping off so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it all off one hour later as you can see we have this piece all all sanded down Now it's just time for a respray. Much, much, much later. Here it is with the new coat. I think it looks pretty good. We're gonna let this dry. Now we're gonna head back to the armrest, see how that's doing. Might need uh, two more coats. Two more coats should be good all right guys so i ended up spraying some clear over it uh just to give it that extra protectant because uh that is where everyone grabs onto in the truck and that's why it started peeling the first time so hopefully by adding this clear coat makes it extra durable so we'll see should be done now we're just gonna let it dry there's that back on Probably gonna have to do the top ones too eventually, just not today. Yeah, it looks better. I also went ahead and cleaned out my uh, air filter. It was pretty dirty. All you gotta do is uh, take it off, rinse it off with some water. If you want, you could buy uh, like a cleaner kit. They sell AutoZone. That's not necessary. Um, I just cleaned it out with water. You want to let it dry first before you install it. About 24 hours, I recommend. That's the way it's always uh, best to have two filters. That way, you, while you clean one, you can put one on and so on. But since I'm not going to be using the truck, I'm just going to keep using the same one. I do have an extra one, but the extra one that I have is a little bit longer, and I don't know if I have enough clearance for it to fit there. It was the original one that came from here to here. And I had to go with the shorter one so I can just have it right there in the middle. But yeah, I'm just gonna let this one air dry. Let's go check on the handle. I think the handle's pretty much done. We can go ahead and reinstall it. There it is, reinstalled. I've been thinking guys, what do you guys think? I want your guys' opinion. So should I paint this trim black and the inners red? Or just keep it as it is? What do you guys think? Comment down below. But yeah. There's the handle. Looking fresh. Alright guys, well that's it for today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure to comment down below what kind of other videos you guys want to watch. i um, slowly trying to work on my truck, trying to get it ready for the next show. AZ Desert Showdown, which was May 2nd, did get uh, moved due to this uh, coronavirus stuff. So I don't know what the next show will be. Hopefully they move it to the end of May, maybe. Uh, well, we don't know yet. But, but yeah, guys. Um, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.